Warning, this is a pest control video and it will show pests being controlled with air rifles. If this is likely to offend you, then please stop watching now. For the rest of you who like these type of videos, let's get on with the action. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Pontypool Pest Control. In today's video, we're going to be returning to one of my favourite rabbit permissions. Some of you may remember this place, is when Snowy made her first retrieve about a dummy rabbit. The rabbit numbers are going high again, so it's time to hand out some eviction notices. After chatting to someone on the Pontypool Pest Control Facebook page, they was telling me how good these slugs are for hunting. They hit a lot harder, they're accurate, take less wind and dump full energy on each shot not like pellets that pass through on impact. I have had all this talk before, and it always ends in tears for me. Money spent, hours of testing, no difference whatsoever as I'm not FAC, and back to my favourite pellets again, JSB. Anyway, he tells me they're Mako slugs and they're made for sub-12 rifles, so I looked them up and contacted the maker. He was very nice on the phone and told me a lot about them. He told me what barrels they like and the difference between slugs and pellets, so I ordered a few, Someone's hype has got hold of me again. As you can see there's plenty of wind at the club today and it's not ideal conditions to be testing in, but I'm going to stick some cardboard out at 30 yards and I'm going to shoot a group and see how they perform. That was a 15 shot group at 30 yards, my aim point was just in front of the tip. I know I'm going to get a lot of people saying, why didn't you measure the other slug in the group size, this is not a true test. Well all I can say to you guys is, that group was all shot in the wind, the one that is not in the group, the wind would have eased off so the slug went straight. I'm very happy with the accuracy, but I would like to do a full review showing the results at longer ranges. The final test, do they crush or flatten out on impact? I'm using a tin of dog meat, the tin representing the skull and the meat as the flesh. This shot is at 30 yards, it's a perfect hunting range. I did manage to split the can, but hey, these things happen. The slug has stopped at the other end of the can, so it's time to dig around and see if it's done anything. The slug has halved in size, and also expanded. I'm very impressed with such a quick test. A lot of hyped up pellets I tested, I could have put back into the rifle, and the ones that did flatten out didn't have any accuracy. I just want to let you all know, I'm not sponsored by Mako, and even if I was, I don't talk shit and try to make sales pitches. With all that out of the way, it's time to go and whack them bunnies. The first shot of the evening is 38 yards. It's only a young rabbit or a kit as we like to call them. When these are hit with a perfect head shot, they'll always jump and flip around for a minute or so, but not this time after being hit with a slug. The fud is unreal and there is blood from his ears showing this is a perfect kill shot.
This is another young rabbit with the same results. I don't really like to shoot the baby ones, but on this permission they want them all gone. Nothing ever goes to waste, they're all for the pot, and the younger ones are best for eating. If at first you don't succeed, never let the sheriff try again. This is the only one that jumped around, but these slugs definitely make a difference on impact, and every rabbit we collected had lots of blood dripping from its ear, showing this is a perfect kill shot. This was the deputy's first ever rabbit. 41 yards is no easy shot standing with trigger sticks, and the added pressure of the sheriff stood there watching you. But fair play, nice clean kill, just the way we like them. Tonight we shot 10 rabbits and lost 3 in the long grass. I ain't leaving anything behind, but sometimes that's just the way it goes. We'll have to call back here very soon to get back on top of things again. Well, I guess it's time for my thoughts of the slugs. They seem to work well in my barrel, they hit very hard, and rarely give any pass through. This is my first time hunting with them, and I can't wait to test them on the squirrels. I'm not trying to promote them in any way, I'm just showing you all my results that I had with them. The kit that we used tonight, was the Vulcan 2 in 177 calibre and the Pad 008 LRF. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, not to miss out on any of my upcoming videos. I have also started a Facebook group, so feel free to join and get to know everyone. Thank you very much for watching, keep safe, all the best, Pontypool Pest Control, aka The Sheriff.